Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we are making a cutting board. I know what you're thinking. Everybody makes cutting boards. Well, this one's a little different. It's uh, not only a cutting board, but it also doubles as a iPad stand or a book stand, cookbook stand. So stick around if you want to see how it turns out. forgot to mention in the intro was what we were making it out of and we're going to use this leftover oak flooring we've had this laying around the shop for a long time so it's it's time to do something with it the problem you're going to have with this is you think because it's got tongue and groove that you can just glue it together but it doesn't work that way the tongue and the groove doesn't fit that tight leaves a big gap on the back so First things first, we gotta remove the tongue and the groove. Got the saw set to just about a sixteenth more than the tongue. There's a little bit of a rounded edge here, and we're gonna cut that off too, because if we're gonna glue, glue these together, we want that edge to be gone. So I'm gonna run these boards through and then reset it for the groove. Got the tongue side cut off, and you move it over to just under two inches. Now we're going to take off the groove side. Okay, we're going to use this straight router bit and this board as a template to cut this handle hole out. Okay, so now we're just going to round over the edges this round over bit
So these two pieces are glued together and they're going to be part of the stand. It's made out of the same material. It's made out of the flooring material. And then it's going to be roughly 8 inches long. And once that's dry, we'll get this cut up and cut the angle off. piece we had glued up and I squared it up and rounded it over and run it through the plane. Uh, this is going to be the stand. So we put this in here like that and mark this angle and it come out to about 22 degrees so we're going to cut this at 22 degrees and then we're going to attach this piece which is another piece of flooring on here and then we're going to attach this piece after we cut this out onto there okay i've got this piece attached to the part that goes through the back Added a couple screws just to give it more strength. And this piece will just glue directly on here and that way there's no fastener showing. Right, so we're just going to wipe this off with a wet rag, this glue, before it starts to set. And that way we won't have to worry about sanding it. So we let this dry overnight. And that pretty much finishes that. We need to sand a little bit here. And then we just real quick go over the... And that's how that's going to work. Real quick I'm going to go over the finish. So I'm going to use Danish oil on this part because it's not food contact and then for the cutting board because it is food contact I'm using this butcher block conditioner it's called and it has uh, mineral oil and some waxes in it and this did come from Lowe's I don't know if you can get it at Home Depot but it did come from Lowe's so that's for food contact wood service So that pretty much wraps up this project. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, God bless, take care, and I will see you later.